August 31, 1944, Pilot William E. Dill and Radioman Kenneth W. Job, members of the Patrol Bomber Squadron VB-4, were conducting dive bombing practice off of Malalaya. During evasive maneuvers following their second steep dive on a target, the entire vertical tail assembly twisted to port, jamming the rudder controls of the aircraft. With no way of turning back to Naval Air Station Pu'unene, they ditched the plane in the water. Both crew members were rescued. Lieutenant Dill had to ditch another hell diver off of the Philippines just months after the one he ditched in Maui. The aircraft sits in about 50 feet of water off of Ma'alaya Bay, surrounded by sand with only the tail vertical stabilizer broken off. It remains one of the most intact World War II wrecks in Maui. The aircraft is protected by the 2004 Sunken Military Craft Act. No person shall engage in any activity that disturbs, removes, or injures any sunken military craft, and this applies to all World War II wrecks in Hawaii. The wreck wasn't discovered until 2010, when local fishermen noticed on their depth finders that their fish were escaping underneath the wings of the aircraft, as the wreck is a perfect shelter for any marine life. The plane is an SB-2C Hell Diver bomber. Farther off Ma'alaya Bay, there are some more sites, like triple anchors. A mooring site used as a degaussing station for large naval cruisers during World War II. This was done in order to decrease the electrical pull the ships had to magnetic floating mines that were strewn throughout the Pacific Ocean. Three large anchors are moored to heavy chains, to a central cement block. Being the only objects around with any large mass, the chains and cement blocks offer marine life an oasis in a proverbial desert. The site is surrounded by sand and halmeda seagrass that provides yet another habitat for the more resourceful animals to find refuge.